In this demonstration, we're going to look at some of the ways that we can manipulate 3D components in Aspire. In the tree control uh, at the top of the modeling tab, we have a complete list of all of the components that are currently in our model. And this is always the place that you should come to refer to um, when you're wanting to see the structure of your model. It gives you some really crucial pieces of information. The first thing is that the checkboxes down the left hand side of each of the items is indicating the visibility state and I can turn on and off individual components visibility using these checkboxes. So if the component is not visible in either of the 2D or 3D views then clearly it's not selectable either and this is a problem that you're going to encounter uh, in other cases as well. So the situation where the specific component that you want to work on is not easily selectable in either of the two views is something I want to quickly uh, look at at the beginning of this demonstration. So the example here has got some text that's lying over the top of the uh, banner at the bottom here, but its associated preview is not visible in the 2D view. If I select the text, you can see that it becomes highlighted in red in the 3D view. The text the item is selected in the component tree, but there's nothing apparently changed in the 2D view. So what's going on? Well, this is really quite a simple problem, uh, but quite common. And that is that the 2D drawing previews uh, of your components uh, can be in any drawing order. And if that drawing order is, as in this case, unfortunately, that the perfect pies is being drawn underneath the banner, then the banner is obscuring it and we can't see it. And so to sort out our 2D view to make it uh, easy to select the items in it, uh, we need to adjust the drawing order. And it's important that you are distinguish the drawing order in the 2D view from the tree order in our component tree because the two are entirely unrelated. The component tree determines how we're going to build the composite relief. The drawing order of our 2D previews is purely for your convenience to make sure that things that you want visible are visible in the 2D view. But obviously in this case it's difficult. We want to select this uh, item and change its drawing order in the 2D view, but I can't see it in the 2D view to select it. So I can right click the item in my tree control and I get some section here which determines the 2D views, the 2D previews position in the drawing. And we simply want to say move it to the front. And now we can see it in the 2D view and we can select it in the 2D view. The drawing order of your 2D previews is determined firstly by the layer on which the preview uh, has been placed and then provided all your previews are on the same layer the drawing order will be determined by those commands I just showed you the move to front move to back so if you're still having problems do ensure that your previews are all on the same layer and that that layer is visible okay so that's selecting something in the 2d view the same problem can occur in the 3d view um, and we've already seen that you can just simply switch off the visibility of items in which case their only method of reselection is through the tree control uh, also though uh, if i was to adjust the combine mode of this text uh, which i can again do uh, in fact i can do from the 3d view itself i can double click uh, double right click the item in the 3d view and i'm going to choose merge and now what happens is we apparently lose that item because it's merging underneath the banner rather than being laid over the top of it. Uh, and so again, it's going to be now impossible to select from the 3D view. So just be aware again that we can use um, the selection methods in the other views to deal with these situations uh, and correct them. So that's uh, a basic introduction to selecting your uh, items ready for manipulating them.